Uh, I found out about Glencarn through uh, my support worker, Tim Howes at Bradford. And he uh, told me about Glencarn. Uh, I made a referral through Freshfields to Glencarn, but I found out that I had to make a self referral. So I made a self referral. And uh, I was that eager to find out what the um, situation was, what the outcome of the application was. I walked it from Newquay all the way here to Glencar. Uh, I came here to the house. I met Bob. Nice guy. And uh, I had a chat with Bob and within an hour and a half. Managed to get a place here. Uh, it, it started off rocky. Yeah, I did laps. I was on the road beneath 10 days. And I think it was the stress of new environment, new people. And I've been working hard to rectify the mistake that I made by walking out. And uh, everything's working out for me well here. I'm hoping, it's been mentioned, but I'm hoping to get a full time job here at Glencoe doing gardens. Yeah. There's no need to dwell in the past because it just made the situation worse. Uh, m many moons ago I was homeless, was drinking a lot. Uh, I went to uh, the council and they said because you've got no local connection you can't have nowhere to live and you get to a point where you just give up and you drink and a lot of people say call homeless drunks because they like getting drunk. Some of them might do, but a lot of them drink because it helps them overcome the situation that they're in. There's, uh, I hate people who are judgmental, except a person for what they are. I mean, people are different the way that they handle things. But uh, me, I don't know, I can just focus and then... Because I realised from when I first left what I, was, what I could have lost if Glencar never... Have accepting me back. I wouldn't have where I am now. And uh, the, I wouldn't have been able to see my mother for the last time. I wouldn't have been able to hold her hand for the last time if it wasn't for Bob. Because Bob 